Months without sports has forced leagues to innovate to keep fans, sponsors, and TV partners happy. Racing leagues, however, hold the biggest benefit of them all. They can race indoors and on computers. All right, ready for the green, green flag. We're racing in Homestead. Garrett Smithley on the break. Yeah, the challenge here for Earnhardt Jr. is that he has about a 14-second clean uh, It looks like it's Charles Leclerc on the pole position as the race gets underway. Leagues like NASCAR, IndyCar, Formula One, and Formula E have made the most out of this opportunity to get viewers into video games sponsored by each league individually. The realism is unmatched. iRacing, Assetto Corsa Competizione, R Factor 2, these games are so good at replicating real life racing. However, not all is fun in games. I can see it. You can't hear me? Wow. Kyle, you're talking to everyone, but Yeah, we heard that. Some drivers have found themselves in hot water. You gotta rewind. It was wet. that was on purpose. We, I, we were already wrecked. Just like in the real world, we didn't go back quite far enough on that replay. Yeah, yeah. I was already. That begs up. the question. No way! Are drivers taking this too seriously or not serious enough? Yikes! But, but that's something you gotta like. Like, you can take it seriously and have fun at the same time. You know, you can always have a good race and still laugh about it at the end. I was in a very close race, a road race at Spa, and just me and this guy were going back and forth, and I was frustrated really towards the end. But at the end, like, both of us were laughing about it. Like, you know what? We had a good run. We were fighting for third. We went back and forth for three or four laps. It, it was a good time. Sim racing is the only type of sports game that can directly correspond with one-to-one -one movements. If you move the steering wheel a certain way, that car in the game, it's going to move the way you move the steering wheel. You can't shoot a hockey puck with a controller. If you did it for last. I'd say even worse than him, I passed Chase, 42 got loose, of course Chase took advantage of it. But when their skills don't translate over to a game, well, things happen. Michigan International, Kyle Kaiser in that green and white car looking racy. There's a crash coming to green. I'll be curious to see you guys going by Jimmy Johnson who, oh, he's gonna oh, get into some cars. Big pile up there. While simulations have claimed to be just like real life or at least right there, a lot of drivers have claimed otherwise. Like what the heck is going on? This coin. It feels like I'm driving on a wet track. There, never once in real life have I ever had rotation that early into a hairpin at Barber. Like, are you kidding me? Actually, these cars are harder to drive. I hate to say that than our cars. I'm gonna say they're very close in terms of life, but authentic racing experience. The the one thing, and I mean the one natural thing that you're really not gonna get, and I think is the most vital is is the butt feeling that you get from sitting on a race car because most of the things most of the uh the the experience you're gonna get and you know what you the adjustments you need to do in terms of setups and how you should uh, tackle the car around the track is butt feeling and i mean literally a butt feeling because you're sitting and you're getting the vibration of the bumps and and the curve With that in mind, it's kind of obvious sim racing will never be exactly like the real thing, but we can get pretty darn close. As for the future, well, according to Lorenzo, it's looking up. It's on a whole new level if we were to compare me five years ago, where the support from these companies weren't so big as it is nowadays. We've seen now uh, Aston Martin, we've seen Porsche now most notably because they're doing the eSports Super Cup this weekend. There will be some work within the mindset of some of those drivers to see how we do 
and how they should view us as a sport because we're we don't want to mimic uh, the other sport things like CSGO, League of Legends, and Valorant, and Dota, and these are your already established games in the market because they have a different approach on how they do businesses in French Irish. It's Irish is its own niche and it works. Simulators are here to stay, they're only going to get better, and even when the pandemic ends and sports return, I think we're still going to see a very nice increase on simulation drivers. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to do a little bit of racing on my simulator now. Perfect timing. I didn't try that a few times. Just worked. <laughs>